Well, hello, 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 my Mad Scrappers. I am back with another Fun Fold Friday. And this is a very simple card, but a really pretty, very versatile card I'm bringing to you. It's a little bit different than the usual Fun Fold Friday, but then that's the point of Fun Fold Friday is that each of the cards are going to be different. So, um, I mean, this is really easy. It'll come together really, really quickly. So on that note, let's get started. So I'm going to set that card right there where I can see it. And the first thing you're going to do, you're going to start out with your basic um, papers. Eight, and you're going to take an eight and a half by uh, um, 11 sheet of paper, cut it in half. And then you're going to take that half and you're going to take two inches off of it. So that's your whole eight and a half by five and a half side. So you're going to take two inches off of it, okay? And then you're going to still score it at four and a quarter, our normal scoring mark for an A2 card. And then we're going to go ahead and fold that over. And you will notice already that there's a schmutz, as I call it, on the inside of that card. Now I can go to the trouble of taking it out or I can ignore it for the moment. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Then you're going to take your two inch strip that you have and that gets scored in half because it's five and a half this way. So that's two and three quarters. And then you're going to fold that over. And this is what makes basically, technically, this is the fun fold. Yeah, I'm making sure it all meets on both ends. And then we're just going to go ahead and zhuzh it into place. Not zhuzh it, but rather, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't think. I'm, it's, I'm not properly caffeinated this morning, so that's why I can't think. I try not to think anyway. It hurts. <laughs> Now, here, I mean, this is a very quick part of it. Uh, you could eyeball it. I am perfectly incapable of eyeballing things. It just, it just I'm, I'm in a lot of ways I do, but on this one, I'm not going to. I will do what I normally do, which is I'm going to center it. And I know this is five and a half, so I know I just take my, put it at two and three quarters. And that gives me the middle of this card. And I'm going to put a little tick mark there if I can get lead to come out. There we go. So my tick mark is there. And then this one, which is two inches, we already know the middle of it's going to be, is going to be at the one inch mark. So we just center it using our Tim Holtz. And I love this ruler for that purpose. Aside from also this, I love this ruler. This is the ruler I keep on my desk. It, I use it continuously, almost on every project. So now we have both our pieces together. Now we're going to add this on. Now I'm going to go ahead, whoops, and rain paper upon myself. I'm going to go ahead and use tape. I, you can use glue just as well. Go ahead and do it. I'm not just in case I need to change my mind for some reason. This gives me the opportunity to do just that. Okay, fine. I'm going to put that little spot in the middle because I always do it. And it just makes me twitch to not do it. Ha! And now we're going to line up our little tick marks and then put that on the edge nice and straightly. And we're going to lift this up. Otherwise, we're going to literally glue our, our clothes. That will be counterproductive. And now there we go. We have the base of our card. Now we're going to start making it pretty. I'm, I'm telling you, this card comes together really, really quickly. So I've already cut up my papers just for the sake of getting things done quickly. And you're going to need a two and right here. You're going to end up with, I believe it's two and a half. What is it? Or let's see, let's go two and a quarter. Okay, so it's two and a quarter. I cut down my strip to two and an eighth. I want only a narrow strip. And I did the same for the blue. What I didn't do is I did the I didn't do the other cut I uh, yet. So we're gonna do that right now. I'm gonna grab my trimmer. Okay. And since it is five and a half, we would normally do five and a quarter, but I want a only a very narrow strip. So I'm gonna go to five and three eighths. And I'm going to cut it off. And I'll do the same with this. I need two strips, five and three eighths. Do, 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 really quick. And then my, oh my gosh, how come this trimmer is already so flippin' dirty? Gosh, okay. We'll have to take care of that. No. Just because it's really pretty, I'm going that way. Okay. And, and, you, and you should pay attention when you have patterned paper. You should. And you know what? I didn't tell you. Hang on a second. Let me show you the papers I'm used to, using. So hang on a second. Okay, I'm back. I just want to show you because for once I am using something I bought as soon as I buy it. <laughs> Amazingly enough. So I grabbed my floral elegance that I just got 
I think it was a craft day for March, February. So that's not pretty, that's pretty good for me. February craft day. And then I just picked up the matching papers, the corresponding papers, this craft day. So I'm, that's the paper collection that you're seeing here. And I'm just using one of the sheets to toss those out of the way. So now we have, and literally we use all of these pieces of paper almost. Well, this one will save for another card for another day or later. Cause remember what I say when we're doing these cut, if you're going to cut one, cut 10, I have literally doing that. Because again, I'm donating uh, cards away and um, cub, cards for Cubs has already started. So I'm going to be doing another video shortly to promote that. I'm behind on promoting that. I have been very, very bad. Bad, Meyer, bad. So now we have our little pieces of paper that we decorate that are going to decorate our card. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere these two down first just because I want to. So that means we just go around and try to get it unstuck from my mat. My, my mat is like extra sticky. And every time I turn around, there's extra cat hair on it. Where are all these cat hairs coming from other than my cats? Um, it's just that I'm surprised to see them. I mean, just show up like that. Usually it's involved a cat traipsing along, and this time it did. And now, which one do I want to use up front? I'm going to put this one on the inside because I want to use that one outside. And that. So see why I wasn't worried about the schmutzes? Because I knew I was going to cover all of the schmutzes up. So let's straighten that out. There we go. And now we're going to take this one and we will glue that down as well. Ah. This is exciting work. I'll put this on the outside. There we go. And there we go. So we, now we have this down. Now, what are we going to do with this piece of paper? Oh my goodness. Well, you have to have noticed that I went ahead and embossed it. So I grabbed one of my newer embossing folders and where is the packaging so I can tell you exactly what the name is. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. It's just buried under stuff. There we go. I'm using this one. Is it this one? Yes, it sure is. Okay. So it is floral and vine the 3D embossing folder from Spellbinders. It is so, I recently got this and oh my gosh, it's so pretty and I'm so glad I used it. So now I'm just going to go ahead and line this up and center it so that I get as many flowers as possible. And let me go and it's not straight and I want it to be straight just because, because I'm a crazy person that way, right? Okay, close enough. Okay. I have my spell binders right here, right next to my platinum six. So I'm just grabbing my platform, this, and then the, where is the, where is the, oh my gosh. Ugh. There we go. And the adopter plate. I just wanted you to see that. I don't need to have the whole machine on my table. So now we are back with our beautifully embossed piece of paper. Now here's one thing I discovered with this paper that comes with the collection the floral elegance it is white core i didn't realize that it was white core so when you run it through you see where it cracks so i loved it i'm like oh and then i go ooh. so it creates just a little bit added um for nothing else of look of distressing and i really like that okay so we have that i need one more piece of paper that i did not cut for you so we are going to cut that for you right now give me one moment all right, and never to let damaged paper go unused. This paper got damaged on the Tahoe trip, but don't ask me how it got wet at the bottom, but it did. So, but I'm still going to use it because it still has life. So we need to now cut a panel to five and three eighths. There's a method to my madness. Yes, there is. By, so not four and a quarter, but four and three eighths. Okay, so we're going to do that. We're going to cut our little piece of paper there. There we go. Set that aside. Move that aside. And now this should be the same size, correct? Yes. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm off by what? Like a smidge? So somebody can't run. So I'm going to go ahead. Let me trim that off. I'm literally trimming off, apparently, a sixteenth of an inch. So let's do that. And yeah, I can see how that happened. Just eyeballed it. You know what? But I'm taking it off of that end. And so that's something you can do when you're doing something like this is as you eyeball, 
see um, which end you're taking less pretty stuff off of and then use that end. And that's the end you cut off of. All right, so now, yep. So now, get, needless to say, I'm giving myself away. I'm gonna take this piece of paper and there we go. Glue that down and now I'm gonna take, I'm gonna run in that. There's a little corner there that's like eh. And I'm going to fix it. Just run your, your, and it works with the Teflon is what I had the most luck with. Just run your Teflon folder and it makes a myriad of, I can't even see the eh again. The little corner needs a little bit more loving, but good enough. Okay, so now I have this to my panel. The reason I did that was because we're putting it in. That's why I'm not worrying about that schmutz on the inside. Because now we're going to put this panel and we're going to trim it some more because, boy, did I get that wrong. <laughs> so it's because this is four and I, this is four and a quarter, right? Let's see. Let's make sure that's where my, my I'm going to just take measure it right off the this. So it sure is. So I'm not sure what I did here, but we're going to cut it better. So actually, so for, oh, I know I'm thinking the wrong thing. So four and an eighth. Hello, my mistake. Don't ask the mad scrapper to do math. There we go. That's asking an awful lot from me. I hate math with a passion. There we go. Now it'll center very nicely. So yeah, guess what we're doing next? We're going to run tape around here and glue that to the middle of our card, of our back panel, and that will cover the flap. And then it'll still give us a small space, not a huge one, but... So be succinct when you're writing your sentiment, but it gives us a little space to stamp a secondary sentiment on the inside. I will not be stamping anything on the inside of these, except for maybe the two I keep because I'm donating them all. And they ask that we not, for anything is donated, they ask that we not stamp the inside of the cards, just the outside. So now I have this, but wait, no, there's more. I still have to put them to decorate this. So I have this little piece of paper where I told you that we use every little piece. So I need to take this and cut it down. So we know this is two inches. So we are going to take off. So it's two. I mean, I have a two and an eighth, so two inches. I'm going to go to one and seven eighths. Let's see how that does. That should do it. That should give me the edge I want. Perfect. There we go. So we trimmed it down to one and seven eighths. And it's just the leftover strip that we had left over but that helps me decorate because i was going to do something else and i go oh no wait i don't have to i have leftover paper and that way we use up all the little scraps that we have left and they don't and the paper does not feel unloved because heaven forbid so now we're going to go here and the one thing i am going to do is erase my tick mark because that will be somewhat visible okay we'll put our pencil away and take an just whoop. there we go we have our card almost I mean hello almost done so now what I'm going to do is we have remember this decorative panel and you just go through um I you I can't even tell you who made these dies because I've had them for such a long time and where is my panel okay so I've had them this was given to me by I don't know who a million years ago. So they may very well be quick cuts, but I have all of these and I forget that I even had them until I rediscovered them when I was working on stuff. So I have these little guys here. So this is the one. So they may very well be quick cuts, but if they are people, these are older than dirt. I'm not kidding you. If I've not had these for 10 years, I haven't had them for a day, but I use the biggest one of the set to cut out the outside one. So we're just going to take down two pieces of tape. We'll take them off the little one because we recycle our tape until it no longer sticks. And with mint tape, that's a long time. I'm going to tell you that right now. And we're going to grab the marquee out so that he also does not feel unloved because we must use him. Whoop, 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 whoop. As I said, everything flying, fly, fly, fly. Back, back. And then we will run this through really quick. right there we'll use it again in a second and there is our back panel but we also have to stamp our sentiment so take that and we're going to save these and i'll show you why later 
So now we're going to grab Misty, who is already set up. So I already have her set up with birthday wishes right there, which is what this is going to be. It's going to be a birthday card. So now I've got to remember, because I centered it, I may have to redo it just because I think... Do I remember? I'm going to reset. I'm going to redo it. It's just going to make it so much easier if I do. Because I'm a dork. So we're just going to come in here. We're going to line it up to four. There we go. I'll remember that. We're going to grab a magnet. I now keep all my magnets here stuck to the front, the drawer of my desk. And now we're going to take and put birthday wishes. Oh, that's what it was. Now I remember why. Because I'm not turning it that Well, I'm now I can turn this this way. Pardon me, pardon me, excuse me, excuse me, because it goes this way. Because I remember I'm doing it portrait style. So let me grab my little guy just to make sure so I can go, I'm going to go, you know, as usual. I think I can get three out of this if I play my cards right. Okay. And if not, well, who the heck, you know, what the heck, you know, it's, it is just paper. Okay. So I've got it on lined up to the three inch mark. I have to remember that. Okay. And that looks pretty straight. And there goes the phone. We don't care if somebody by the name of Unavailable is calling us. I don't know anybody by the name of Unavailable. <laughs> okay, now we're going to grab, I know I have it right here. There it is. We are going to use the Versafine Claire, the blue, which is now suddenly getting a lot of use. I love it. And since we have the, the blue is the contrast color in this I thought that would be the perfect so there we go oh my goodness I don't want to hear that message either oh sorry about that guys okay so there we go we've stamped this down I apologize for that that's real life problems here when I have to try I also have to monitor the phone here so now I have that we are going to Center this down. Now we're going to steal the tapes from here and put them there. So we're just going to center my die. I think that's pretty good. I'm going to put down my two little tapes so that it doesn't go anywhere. Bring in Mr. Marquis. I'm going to flip our mat and run it through real quick. Okay. Awesome. And now look, we have our panel. So now all I got to do is take the Misty off I'm on top of Big Mama because I just put it on top. And we're going to run tape here, a piece of tape there. Whoops. All the way. And one right there. That's going to be enough. And let's center it on our car on our mat here and it's kind of easy to center because i'm just lining up the points so it's just about centering it up and down and we have that now all we have to do is adhere it to our flap and for that i decided to use them i wanted to dimensionalize it pop it up just a little bit because i wanted to that is my entire explanation and I just laid them right across from each other, adjacent to each other, because I have a ton of this tape, so I don't mind. I don't care. Again, remember, it's my. I get these this foam tape at the ninety nine cent store. So I buy when I buy them. I go and I probably buy about it, no less than five, usually about ten rolls at a time, and then just stockpile them. All righty, there we go. I'm gonna take my two little strips off. And we're going to take this off and we're now going to center it more or less up and down, left and right. More or less. There we go. La! And honestly, for all intents and purposes, we're pretty done here, but no, we're not. Because remember, I took little butterflies. Okay. Now, remember, this is why I told you. That, no, wait, we're not throwing away this paper. This is a new thing now I do, so I'm going to use this one instead. Um, I don't throw these away anymore. I now am hanging on to them. 
I've been hanging on to it for far too long, wondering what am I going to do with this, but it'll come to me eventually. And it finally came to me. You can cut, take your little tiny punches. So in this case, I'm cutting out butterflies. So I take and I cut out a bunch of butterflies that I can use in this card or other cards that I'm going to be making. Because remember, you know, make one, cut ten. If I'm going to cut one, I might as well make a bunch of them. So, and that is why I have as many cards as I am going to be donating to Cards for Cubs and Cards for Kindness. I'm going to split everything I have made. But see, I can get a bunch of, no, I'm just, not, but now I, that's the wrap. There's still to be gotten, so we can grab a couple of more butterflies. And I'm being sloppy. Usually I tend to be a little bit more scroungy about this, but, you know, eh. But this is, guys, this is great TV work. In all honesty, I can be watching TV and punching things out. Just say. So now I've got a bunch of plain blue ones, but I have leftover strips of paper, of the patterned paper, from when I cut this down. This is the leftover strip. So, of course, I'm going to cut butterflies out of these as well. So I'm just going to go in and try to grab some pretty. So here I'm not so scrooge because I want to get pretty pattern paper. All right, people, I'm done cutting out butterflies. You can see I have a bunch of them. But here, this is what I would say. This is a piece, this is what I end up with. By the time I'm done cutting a butterfly out of every, you know, square millimeter, and I wonder, can I get one? The problem is like someone that I might be able to get it. It's getting in and in here. So that's when I give up. Okay, I got to know when to quit. And that was the wrong punch to grab anyway. So now I can throw that piece away. But now I have a bunch of butterflies that I can use to decorate my card with. And that was all done just with the scraps of the paper. So let me grab my tweezers that are now not to be found. Okay, so we'll use the other, we'll grab the other tweezers. Tweezers are tweezers. There we go, we'll grab these because, oh, they're right here, holy cow. All right, so we're gonna grab, I'm gonna use my Nuvo, even though the other one has a finer point, but it dries faster. So we're gonna start grabbing butterflies. So let's grab this one and see that one's pretty on this side. So this is double-sided paper. Let me grab, there's like glue or probably tape. There we go. The adhesive from the tape. Let me grab this. So what I'm gonna do real quick, I'm gonna turn them over because this is this side up. And then I'm gonna pull up the wings a little bit using the tweezers. That's the main reason I needed the tweezer to put it right on the body. And then I bring up the, and then I turn it over so that I can add my glue. And then we're going to glue it down and try to do it in some sort of a fashion that works. There we go. We'll take the glue that's right on top. And we are going to put that one going this way here, right? If I can get it to come off the tweezers, of course. So we're gonna go there, put them there, and then we'll grab the point of my nail. There we go, and hold it in the place. And then do this so that they're weight. So it's only the body, so the wings are still up. So we're gonna go there, we're gonna grab now, since we did that one, I'm gonna grab a blue one. We'll grab this one since that one apparently wants to be grabbed. <laughs> and do the same thing. Take painstakingly, bring those wings up, flip it around so that we can add our glue to the bottom of him or her, we don't know. We're just making assumptions here. Put a little dab of glue and we're gonna add it, like I'm gonna put it right here because I want to. If there's no rhyme or reason, you put them wherever the heck you want. The point is to decorate the card. So now since I, if I can get it to stay. There we go, stay. And there we go, my friends. That is our card. I still have to stamp the back of it. I'll have to do that very carefully now because I have butterflies on it. So I will, I will stamp it, but there you go. There is your quickly put together, in theory, Fun Fold Friday. But no, wait, I want you to know something, that this is not the only way this card could go. It could go this way. It could go this way. I, it doesn't make much sense to me this way, so I think this is the way to go. Or portrait style, like I did with this one. So I have made two cards already. And this one is for sure going to be donated based on the sentiment. Warmest congratulations on your achievement. But see, all I did was turn it on its side and I went this way. I could have done it this way as well, which is, I believe, the, the way I saw it when I, fought, I saw it on Pinterest. 
but I liked this way. And I still have a space here to write a sentiment or put a stamp in there. And there you go. So, I mean, there you go, guys. One same design, and you could literally get four different looks, or at least three. I think realistically three different looks to this card. So hopefully you get something out of this. You learned something from it. And if you did, please at least give me a like. If you want to drop me a note, definitely leave a comment. If you think this is something that somebody else would like to see, share my video as well. That helps the channel. And otherwise, I'm going to let you go, guys. I've got to get back to work. That's why you heard the phone, because for once I'm recording during the day, and it's been like a low, a low point. So I took my lunch. Um, but anyway, go out there and craft, my friends. Make something beautiful. And always remember that what you make and what you give makes a difference. It brightens someone's day. So go out there and make a difference with your craft. And as always, we're all a little mad here. So come on, people. Craft the madness with me. Okay, I'm going to talk to you guys later. Bye.